Okay guys, I have to talk really low because it's after nearly 1.30 in the morning and my parents are getting up early tomorrow to go away for the first time in a while. I, uh, early this morning, yesterday morning, I actually woke up with another migraine. Um, not a lot of pain, but I couldn't see, so I've just basically been sleeping most of the day and listening to an audiobook. So, um, Coles arrived, and this is my grocery haul. <clears throat> so, just really, really quickly, frozen stuff. <clears throat> You've seen this before. Broccoli and cauliflower rice. I've got two of those. I've got four of the Thai style, style stir fry. I can't have the corn, so the corn comes out. I've got um, Brussels sprouts, frozen Brussels sprouts and green beans. I've got four fresh broccoli. I've got three fresh lemons. I've got two red peppers, one yellow, two green. Um, bell peppers or capsicums. Um, now, I haven't um, gotten around to unplanting, is that what you say? <laughs> my leek but they are ready to eat but this is a uh, brought leek for the moment so i've got three leek i've got three cucumbers the continental ones uh, i've only just started eating um that kind of stuff because of my jaw i've got to be careful i don't normally get spring onion because i'm a little, not supposed to have too much of it. I cannot have the white part, but I have the green part. My mum has the white part. Um, one large celery. Oh, I used some of these mushrooms tonight. So, um, how many grams? It's 500 grams of mushrooms. Um, two, uh, two kilograms. Sorry, two kilograms of carrots. I go through all the carrots. I've got one normal tomato actually this one was already in the fridge it needs to be eaten but i bought four roma is that what they roma tomatoes and two small packs of the vine ripened cherry tomatoes which i'm going to roast i've got some fresh ginger i've got six bunches of bok choy i'm gonna try and grow this so i've got two lots of that now the cauliflower, that's the main source of this diet. <laughs> I kind of made a mistake. I usually get three cauliflower. I ended up with one, two, three, four, five, five cauliflowers. Um, and I've already got uh, about a litre of cauliflower soup. So yeah, mm. one large uh, cabbage that will last me for about three weeks. I've got six um, zucchinis. These are bloody expensive. Uh, these are yellow squash. I've got six of those. Got four garlic um, bul mm, bulbs. Yeah. Big bag of spinach. I eat a lot of spinach. And that is it. Oh, yeah. And a heap of bottled water. Yeah. Um, I feel a little bit bad that I'm using plastic. But it is recyclable plastic. <laughs> so that is is what I eat. Um, other than that, it's lots of water. It's my three shakes that I've told you about and one teaspoon of olive oil. So uh, yeah, and some, what is it? Um, decaffeinated coffee. So um, that's my diet and that's how I've lost a lot of weight. We've still got a lot to go. Uh, it's how I cured my diabetes, it's how I've almost cured my high blood pressure and how my sleep apnea, which is was at the absolute worst and I couldn't even wear a CPAP machine to almost, well, I'm not really sure, I think I still have it, but at the very least, um, I'm definitely probably about 60% better with that. So, and I still got a lot more weight to lose. So, yeah. Now, how healthy is that? It's not bloody cheap. It looks like a lot of food, but <laughs> really, I mean, this is my big shop, but it doesn't last long because it's all I eat.
don't forget that the milkshakes that I have for the diet are full milk replacements and it's a medical diet so I get all my vitamins in that plus all this stuff. I better, 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 I just realised, I better before I go to bed put the frozen stuff away. <laughs> okay guys, I'll see you soon. Hi everyone, I'm not going to do an intro because I'm going to add this to the first Coles haul, online haul that is, because a week ago I did a Coles haul late at night, late Tuesday night, actually it was actually it was Tuesday early morning around 1.30 and I still haven't put it up and Coles has come again because I do it every week. This is a slightly smaller shop as you will see, every second week is a smaller shop. Now there's one or two things that I did get because I need to replace them for when my parents come back. Things I do not eat like peanut butter. And I did put away the Pepsi Max. That's because my husband should be coming up. He was meant to come up this week. He didn't. It's been a long, long time since I've seen him. But hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be here this weekend. And I wanted something for him to drink other than water because that's all I drink. As you can see, got my water, got my chicken stock because I go through this a lot. This is the brand that doesn't have onion in it because I'm highly allergic. I got my streps, strepsils, sugar-free with this illness. Many of us get extremely sore throats. I get ulcers and everything. I try not to have it, but when I'm, um, when I'm desperate, sorry guys, I just realized the cameras are all around. I wasn't going to do this and then I thought, you know what, Cole's just arrived. I ha I should just show you guys. Um, yeah, uh, we get sore throats and stuff, but I try not to use it. The peanut butter, oh, I love peanut butter, but I can't have it. That's for my parents, okay? So we'll pop that over here. I did start this video and then I realized I had my credit card right here so all of you could see. Wouldn't you love that? No. Okay, so I did say no plastic bags. I guess it's not too bad, but... Why? Trying to save the environment. Two eggplants, which I actually only wanted one, but they gave me two, probably because they're small. Now, this is, I'm not going to show you, you know me in cauliflower. I actually went through all that cauliflower. I'm having the rest of the cauliflower tonight. You will know what I mean because you'll be watching the start of the video. So three cauliflowers that's in there, trust me. Another bag of carrots. I got some carrots left out of the two kilograms, but I need more. So, carrots. Finally got my zucchini noodles. This is what they didn't get me last time. Got two lots of that. In this pot here, I've got a frozen vegetable sauce that I made up. It's basically kind of like a spaghetti bolognese sauce, but it's low fructose. It's got more um, red pepper in it. And I'm going to be adding stuff to that tomorrow, including roasted uh, ripe cherry tomatoes, which my prep cook, who you will see in another video, because I want to introduce her, the lovely Dolores. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do there. So I'm going to be using zucchini noodles for that. Yummy. I can't wait. I am going to also do stuffed zucchinis. Uh, well, I'm not going to do it. Dolores will do it. Um, and stuffed yellow squash. I've got peppers because peppers are everything for me. This is my favorite. I love yellow. Yellow is my favorite. Red pepper because that's going to be going in the stuffing for these two things and also in here. I also got these little ones. These are expensive. Uh, these little tiny ones, little peppers. Um, they're just baby capsicum, really. Um, and they cost a fortune. I should have just got another two of these. $3.90. Whereas one of these is only $1.20. Oh, well. That'd be nice. I got some leek. And you know what? I am growing some leek. But these are humongous. I don't know if I want to swap them out. My parents are going to kill me. I, I literally need a whole garden for myself. And uh, again, zucchinis. That one's not, it doesn't feel that fresh. Lucky we're doing it tomorrow. So, we're, you know, I'll show you what Dolores will be doing tomorrow with all that. Um, and broccoli. I've got a little bit of broccoli left, um, but um, not much. So that's it. There's a smaller shop. Um, I do have cabbage left. I do have carrots left. 
um, and things like that. I just needed to, you know, um, get a few more things in just to, yeah. So that still came to $104, but that's including $8 delivery. Um, it is costly, but um, it's the price you pay for health, hey? Okay, guys, I need to sit down and have my soup and um, I'm going to go and watch Judy Ron on the big TV. If you haven't subscribed to him, subscribe. Look up Duty, D-U-T-Y-R-O-N, Judy Ron. He's He's a retired NYPD detective. He was at Ground Zero and he's just an all-round amazing man and it's a fantastic community, trust me. All right, guys, love you lots. Take care. Bye.